friends welcome to on little code in this open ai dali tutorial we are going to learn how to generate ui components like this this is not my original idea so i would like to start the video by giving credit to charlotta charlotta created this and then also the prompts were shared on twitter so i'm going to use the prompts the knowledge that i gained from reading the twitter thread so all credits for this video content goes to charlotta what are we trying to do here we are trying to use OpenAI DALI 2, which is the latest version of DALI from OpenAI, which is an AI project to create images from text. But instead of just creating any image, we want to create UI components, user interface components that could be reused in, let's say, mobile app development or maybe um, web app development or any, any kind of user interface design. So what we are going to see in this video is first understanding how you can create a UI component like this also how you can customize the prompt in such a way that you can do more more than what you are going to see in this video if this is something that interests you let me know in the comment section so i'll try to find more use cases like this once again thanks to charlotta let's get started with understanding how we can design this is the open ai interface and you can see that i've got a prompt that says an icon of a male in light blue metallic iridescent material 3d render isometric perspective on dark background when I give this, this is the set of images that we get. So this is the prompt that we should give to create an icon that looks like this, but you can customize it. For you to understand what this prompt means, I've made a small presentation. I'm going to play it now. First of all, when you see the prompt, it says an icon of a male in light blue metallic iridescent material, 3D render isometric perspective on dark background. First of all, an icon. You want to create an image that is that looks like an icon and also it is an icon. So first you need to specify that you want an icon. Next, you need to specify what is that icon that you want? What, what is that object for which you want to create an icon? In this case, I've given mail, but you can give microphone, phone, smartphone, whatever you want. So whatever that icon that you want, you want to give it in this space. The next thing is you want to specify the color of that icon. So in this case, it's light blue, but for example, you want it in orange, you want it in green. So it depends upon the theme that you have, the color palette that your brand has got. So you have to specify the color here. The next is the type of the material that you want the icon to look like. For example, in this case, it is metallic iridescent material. So which is a very shiny um, like uh, material. But if you want a different material, then you have to give that specific material here. And that goes in this particular space. The next thing is quite important for Dali because you have to tell Dali that you actually want a 3D render so that you don't get a 2D picture of a uh, male um, what is a 3d render you can see how the image is structured like um, you know you see a 3d -ish image so if you want a 3d render you have to specify it is a 3d render also another thing that i learned is if you do not give isometric perspective you might get all the icons in different perspectives or different angles for you to specify that you wanted an isometric isometric perspective you need to specify and finally if you are a ui designer if you want to use the icons that are generated by dali you want to make sure that it's quite easier for you to use like a let's say magic wand or lasso tool and then cut the front end and then leave out the back um, back part so you need to have it a like you need to have a contrasting background like for example if you want to use a dark color for your icon then you need to have a light background or if you want to use a light color in the front end then you need to use a dark background so that's why we in this case we are using a dark background just to quickly summarize for specify the type so in this case icon then what is the object for which you want to design the icon color of it type or material of it you want to specify that you want it 3d render and then you want to specify the perspective in this case isometric perspective and what is the background that you want this is how the prompt is structured. I hope this dissection of the prompt has helped you in understanding the, the understanding the design. So now that we know that this is how we have created, let us go ahead and then try out a few prompts. The first thing that I would like to do is I would like to say maybe uh, an iPhone friend. So an icon of an iPhone friend in light blue metallic iridescent material, 3D render isometric perspective on dark background. Maybe I can say black background. Let's see if it works out. And then I'm going to click generate. But meanwhile, while it is generating, we have two more prompts to try out. So one of the recent tweets from Charlotte is to say that if you add 
cinema 4d in the prompt then you you get like more details and then like the 3d effect is more so let's try it out so now at this point you can see that i've given an icon of an iphone friend oh that's nice so you can see uh, this is a slightly you know deformed here but you can see the other images um this this looks slightly better this and uh, this and this so for example if you like one of the images uh, like let's say one of the images like this you can ask for more variations as well so i'm going to select a different prompt now which is the cinema 41 so i'm going to copy this and uh, i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to say um, insert an icon here like what is the item that you want so i can say phone um i don't know if it is phone let us say a mailbox or paper plane paper plane is the icon that you would usually see the ui designers using for send like anything to send so i i've just said icon of a paper plane in a metallic rainbow edits and material 3d render isometric perspective rendered in cinema 4d on a dark background so let's see how it turns out to be it looks it looks fantastic i would say so you can see that it really looks good it really looks very good so maybe let's try out one more thing so i wanted to try a microphone you can say microphone like for example let's say you want to design icons for podcast or something so icon of a podcast um sorry icon of a microphone i didn't say podcast microphone just a microphone let's see how it is going to render and you can play around with the colors as well like uh, right now we are playing with um, oh this looks nice this especially this one looks really nice and we can you know if you have ever used photoshop or anything you can simply use magic wand cut the background and then start using it so this looks amazing so now i'm i'm going to say like instead of metallic rainbow i'm going to probably say metallic orange and then i'm going to see how it looks same microphone uh, i'm not changing anything else in the prompt i'm just going to change the color and uh, let's see how it is going to show and once again like i said um this uses cinema 4d in the prompt as well so that the dali understand wow this is this is this is amazing like i am i am i'm definitely blown away this is this is amazing um this is this is awesome um so let's let's try a different icon so maybe um uh, instead of orange i can say i think orange looks orange looks cool um, um instead of a microphone i can i can try out a different icon maybe let's go to google okay so phone ui icons let's search for it and then let's try to create something images like what what all things that you see you see uh, you see contacts like a human let let me open this maybe this looks better so we see like a droplet this this looks so bad oh my goodness uh let me check here what do you have here you have music so i think symphony note maybe let's see symphony note is it a note music note icon of a music note in a metallic orange and let's see what happens meanwhile we can go check the other items that we wanted to check so what else you have got you have got a youtube logo I think this is like a play icon and then you've got a Google logo then you've got WhatsApp logo so it's a Twitter bird f settings is a gear I think settings is something that we should try messages looks like conversation and let's see how wow this this again looks this this looks so super realistic this is um if if you show this to me and then say that you know the best uh, the best 3d renderer or graphic designer designed it i would i would definitely buy it like i would definitely believe in that so finally we can try one last which we saw which is uh, uh, uh which is a, a small robot maybe and you know robot is a bad choice so maybe i can say gear gear icon small of a gear in metallic orange so let's let's see how it goes but i think i think the the point point here is like uh, dali as a text to image is not only for generating you know artistic images like you know what you see oh wow this is this is just simply mind blowing um i can see the details in the corners and um, i definitely would say that this this looks this looks awesome like so this is like super awesome like like if you say 3d design it is amazing um i don't i don't know what happens when you say 2d but but this definitely looks super amazing like i said 
the the potential of dali looks looks really impressive to me and um, i would love for you to try out new icon designs especially if you are a ui designer i'm not in that profession i'm a data scientist so maybe i'm missing out something but if you are a ui designer i would definitely love to hear your opinion on how these things look does it make sense will you use it you know lots of questions i would love for you to try out something and then let me know in the comment section if you have any questions let me know in the comment section again otherwise i hope this video was helpful to you in creating something so amazing interesting using dali in a couple of seconds which might you know which might take a human being like more than seconds mm, yeah happy coding stay safe talk to you later peace